<laughs> where Brian is making a lot of commentary. <laughs> and I'm getting kind of slap happy. So this lovely rug should actually be a lot smaller for this space. But the door does not close because the rug is too plush. Oh, you just got it. So he had to move the rug and then we had to move the bed. We just went and got this bed today after we decided that I shouldn't try to sand. No, we're not doing any furniture restoration <laughs> projects when we just restored our house and yeah. are trying to move in. So this is our Everett's room and I'm doing it um, in, you know, Everett's a senior, so he will just be here a short time still. So I thought long-term with the things that we bought and the bedding and stuff. So um, this is a really masculine rug. It does have some florals, but it's really, really pretty. And then we just picked this up. I have a furniture pin. I'm gonna try to just touch it up, but he's got a really pretty quilt and I'm gonna do like an equestrian theme. We've got some pretty prints to hang on the wall. Um, and then Brian is trying to sell a bunch of our old furniture on Marketplace and it seems to be kind of stressful. He's been messaging people back and forth and all the things. So this is a dresser that we bought on Marketplace after the fire that we used in the barn house. And it fits just perfect. So Everett has not like, we haven't really unpacked in here. We were kind of waiting on getting a bed. His mattress was just on the floor. So this will be nice. I don't know that he's unpacked at all in here. Although maybe if we got I can't open these closet doors. I don't know that I want to tell him that right now. Maybe, as irritating as it is when you want to open the closet door, you just, come on now. I think we can live with that. It's going to curl up though. Oh well, we're not living in a perfect world here. That's what we have to deal with. When I carried over some of our homeschool mess, and just started gathering it. So that's neither here nor there. The pantry still has not started. Esme's working on spice spices. Do we have a lot more that we haven't used? Yeah. But you haven't done these big ones yet. No, because those are uh, the, the blank, these, these things, the blank labels. But she gets her at the blank labels. Yeah, I can, I can do that. Just set them next to it. Um, pantry, I don't know what's happening to our lives.
I can walk in here now, I feel more encouraged. Um, this was my goal the last few days and I actually didn't touch it because we started back homeschooling and you know, these people still want to eat and have clean clothes. So it's like, and then Evan, so it's just, it's been hard to do a project, but the big kids went with my mother-in-law. Um, Brian's parents just bought a house down the street, which is so exciting. So they're helping them unload their trailer. So I have a few minutes free of, sorry, free of homeschooling. And then Evan is content watching the voice. So we're going to push through for the next few minutes. So my plan is on these top two shelves, the top shelf specifically being things that we don't use all the time. Like I have my cookie press and some cookie cutters, my big um, bread mixer, and then just some baking bakeware up there. And then this is all my bowls and pitchers. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep a step stool in here so I can just get to these easily. And then this whole row is going to be these um, type containers and then snacky foods here. The only produce in here are going to be our onions and potatoes and then a chip bowl and um, or a chip basket and a bread basket. And then over here, these, this is going to be this entire wall are going to be these gallon glass jars. These were cleaned and saved from the fire. So I'm in the process of washing all of these. So all of our Azure baking and raisins and all that kind of stuff will go here. And then on this row, I'm going to do canned goods and like liquids, peanut butter, and then more dry goods up there. So obviously we lost some space to create this workspace. So I'm just going to have to utilize the step stool to get what we want. And then this will just be our working pantry. So we will re we'll get in a routine of refilling this every weekend in theory, right? Y'all hold me to it. So these are all clean. They took forever to dry. Um, so this is my project today. I really don't have a lot to fill in these because I have not placed that as your order. So like we're totally out of oats and things like that. So that'll be a fun um, grocery haul to do and get all these refilled. But first thing I need to, they need to have a permanent place and they need to be First day of being nine, time for bed. 